Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today I'm going to be trying out a combination I have been telling you all is a really good combination, but I haven't actually used it yet. And that is mechs and bombardiers. Now, the reason I say it's a good combination is mechs just a very close unit troop, so they stand close to buildings. Mechs are not as shady as Scorchers, they're not going to walk all over the place. Um, you can be way more confident when you're using them, so I'm excited to see how this is going to go. We're going to boost up our resource reward as always for this map clearing session and um, we're going to jump into it. So I think the reason this is going to work is the mechs are close, the bombardiers will stand far back and that is the combination. So right now I do have Dr. Kavan and we're going to switch him out after the battle. Dr. Kavan's going to be kind of useless when I'm using mechs because Dr. Kavan will not revive mechs. That's one of the things we learned from the update um, after the update dropped. We didn't know that before the update dropped. I'm kind of under the assumption that new troops aren't really going to um, be able to be revived. I guess I'm thinking more of like proto troops. Proto troops haven't really been able to be revived yet. So yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't really expecting Max to be able to be revived. It would have been cool, but I kind of understand where Boom Beach is coming from. Reviving a mech would be insane, but it would probably be a little overpowered. And look at that. The first base goes down. I did lose about half my mechs, which is pretty bad. I wasn't really expecting to lose that many, um, but we're going to change out my hero for a better hero because Dr. Kavan is not the hero we want to bring with this combination. So we're gonna grab, uh, we'll grab Everspark and we're gonna grab Explosive Charges. You know, Explosive Charge is a really cool ability which I feel like doesn't really get used to its fullest potential. Way back in the day I made a video and it was originally supposed to be a mock video where I was mocking Explosive Charge. And basically I maxed out Explosive Charge and it was supposed to be a waste of tokens, but what I found is after the... Yeah, I really have to keep Doom Cannon shocked. But what I found is after the... Um, after I upgraded them, the explosive charge is actually pretty good. So basically, she'll toss her little explosive charge. It'll deal a ton of initial damage when it's maxed out, and then it will shatter around it and deal damage all around the initial point. So I'm going to target this cannon... It did about half the damage, or half the HP, to the shock launcher. The biggest thing is using it on defenses that aren't really um, destroyed. So ones that have a ton of HP. Because right now I'm, I'm attacking things that have like half HP, and it's really not the best when you're using it like that. Another good way of using... Oh, frick. I should probably spend my energy on shocks and stuff, but uh, another good way to use Captain Eversparks Explosive Charge is kind of like Universal Remote. If you can one-shot buildings, which I can, it does pretty much the same thing if you can one-shot a building as Universal Remote would. And it's way cheaper to use Explosive Charge than Universal Remote. That was expensive. 400,000 gold um uh, that's not good because i really want to upgrade something in my armory if worse comes to worse i can just do my mines i only need like a million more gold for those i think we'll be fine but we might not be able to get the most expensive upgrade done which i always like doing i was gonna change out my hero again bullet is the obvious choice bullet um, energy drink is the obvious choice when you're using this combination just because he'll stand in front of the mechs to kind of provide another tanking unit. Um, defenses will target him instead of the mechs. Honestly, just overall, it'd be way better. But look at that. I just one-shotted that sniper. Not sniper, or that shock launcher. This isn't good, though. I'm losing a lot of troops to mines. My mechs are moving a lot slower than I thought they would. I thought they would be standing closer to... Um, I thought they would be staying closer to the buildings and farther away from my bombardiers, which kind of sucks for me because right now my mechs are getting shocked and stunned and my bombardiers are pretty much right there, so it's really tough to try to get anywhere. But I am liking the explosive charge. It's really cool how it works and the amount of damage it deals to the buildings. Very nice. We also have the explosive drones, 
which are basically critters. If you've never seen explosive drones before, good. Because explosive drones are the most useless gumbo ability you will ever get. I've never seen someone use explosive drones well. Explosive drones just kind of suck to play with. Um, that's why I haven't been using them, and that's why we're not going to really make a dedicated video for the explosive drones. Although I haven't checked out Jimmy's video today, it might have been a dedicated video, in which case I just completely flamed Jimmy. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we have gold we can grab if we need gold. That's 2.5 million gold. That's a lot. That's a lot of gold. Okay, let's grab energy drink for bullets so we can have more health on our front line you know, on our offensive line. We'll get our hero down. It'll be great when we come across this Doom Cannon in the middle. Be very good. Okay, so we're gonna activate Bullet. We're actually gonna shock some of the defenses because I really want Bullet to stay in front for the Doom Cannon. Um, Bullet, of course, he truncates the damage dealt to him after a certain point. So if a defense deals 5,000 damage, um, like a Doom Cannon firing on a troop. I don't know if it deals 5,000, that's a lot, but if it deals a lot of damage, which I think it does actually, um, then after a certain point, the damage dealt to bullet won't matter. And I actually just lost my hero after I spent 32 gumbo energy um, trying to revive him. So this isn't good. I'm losing a ton of my troops, but you know what? A shock blaster isn't going to be able to take down my mechs. They're just too strong. Okay, it is taking down my mechs. It's not going to take down my bombardiers. Luckily, I was able to shock it, but it got me a little bit worried. So I'm starting to think this combination isn't as good as I thought it was. Definitely heavies and bombardiers is the way to go. I don't really think this combination is working like I thought it would be, but we're going to keep trying to use it trying to come up with a good attack combination. That's another thing. Grapplers is a defense I just am incapable at taking a base down with grapplers right now. You know, Jim Cannons are pushing it, but grapplers are just a little too much. This would have been a really fun base to use Grenadiers on because of all of his low level defenses. And we're actually gonna shock the laser beam just so we don't lose any bombardiers to it so we're just gonna keep it shocked we'll keep shocking the defenses around it also overall this seems to be going a lot better because this player is a level 61 which is crazy because that's about 10 levels under what I am at currently that's insane this player probably has like another year and a half of upgrading before he's maxed out and if more Boom Beach updates come. This player is not going to be maxed out forever, and they're level 61. So, Dante drops. Very nice attack by me. <laughs> not much I can do, you know? It, it was such an easy base because his defenses were low level, but I'm glad he was upgrading his offense because that is the right move to make. So, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen any other NPC bases or player bases. Here's one. We'll just destroy it. I'm pretty sure that was it. So now let's jump on to Dr. T and try to take down a couple stages of this. We'll just unload some barrages, just like the last time, and we'll take down that clump of defenses. And we'll start taking down some of those. And we'll take down the other shock launcher. We'll activate my hero. I'm really liking the way my troops are walking up. Creating a line of mechs. How cool is that? And honestly, I couldn't get much better. I love mechs. Mechs are so much fun to play with. I feel like they're very underrated. I don't really see a lot of people using them. But I don't know why, because they're really strong. I mean, to be fair, they're probably not as good as Scorchers, but they are more consistent than Scorchers. They have a lot less HP, and they deal less damage, but they look cooler, and they um, are more consistent. And when I say consistent, oh, this base should be easy. I just have to get off the beach here. When I say consistent, I really mean they don't walk all over the place. Like, Scorchers literally just walk wherever they please, and 
Mechs will not do that. Mechs have a very defined walking path that they go on. My hero is hanging on by a thread right now. Okay, honestly, this is going way better than I thought it would. I haven't lost any mechs, and I'm really not close to losing one. We have one over here that's in the red zone. But I think overall, this is going pretty well. Can I activate? Nope. Drop more shocks down. I am worried about the defenses that can kill my bombardiers, because I feel like my mechs are going to drop pretty fast. So far, I've been able to kind of control the battle by just using my gumbo energy and mortars are very deadly against this. But I unloaded some exploding drones, explosive drones. It is nice when explosive drones kind of stop for a second. Maybe you can use that to distract mortars for a split second if they're about to take down your Zuka Club. But other than that, I don't really see a need for them or a place where they fit into a combination. But there we go. We got 700,000 gold from that. That's insane. And I think we'll have enough to do a very expensive upgrade. So let's look here into our upgrades. So we can't do the most expensive upgrade. I think I'm just going to do... Yeah, let's just do uh, med kits to level 24. It's something that needs to get done. Even though it's not the most expensive, I still think it is a good thing to upgrade. And then we have a level 26 mortar. We have a level 25 mortar, which I'm not really close to upgrading. We have a level 24 mortar, which I'm also not close to upgrading. So let's just grab ourselves. Um, we'll do this boom cannon, something that has to get done as well. And that'll be it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like as always. And I completely forgot about my operation chest. That is an L. We're gonna grab gold just so we have gold and we're gonna grab ice shards as well. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.